Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with TRQ where you can view before you do. Do you have a check engine light on in your vehicle with codes P0014 or P0016? Keep watching, we're going to show you how to fix those. Both of these codes are an indication that there's a problem with a cam phaser. Now this could be if you have a V-shaped engine either on bank 1 or bank 2. Bank 1 is signified by a P0016. A bank two would be P0014. Again, this only applies to V-shaped engines. And I'm gonna show you real quick on the engine how to distinguish which one's bank one and bank two. This V6 engine clearly illustrates the difference between bank one and bank two. You can see this bank, or this side of the engine, seems to be much farther forward than this side of the engine in this valve cover. That makes this side bank one, and this cylinder number one, and this side is bank two. In order to better understand these codes and what causes them to activate, let's talk a little bit about the mechanics behind it. An engine usually consists of two parts, a crankshaft, which is connected to the pistons in the bottom of the engine, and a camshaft, which operates the valves in the top of the engine. Those valves open and close to allow air to come in and exhaust to leave, and the camshaft is directly responsible for the timing of when all of this happens. And the camshaft and the crankshaft are both connected either by a belt or a chain or, or some, something connects the two and keeps everything in time. Now these variable valve timing engines have another component that's, well, makes it interesting. What that component is, is it's a variable cam phaser. So that allows the camshaft to either advance or retard during engine operation to change its torque output so it's not fixed like it is in most engines. This system operates on oil pressure. If the oil is low or not of the correct viscosity, this system cannot operate correctly. Now that we know how critical oil viscosity and oil pressure is to all of this, one of the first things I check, well the first thing I check when I see any one of these codes is first the oil level. And if the oil level is low, I want to top it off. Also, I look at the condition of the oil. Does it look old and dirty? If it does look old and dirty, I might want to change it. And even if it's clean and new, I still might want to change it because again, oil viscosity is important. And you can find out what viscosity of oil goes into your engine, usually by looking at the oil cap. It's usually printed right on the top. So if there's any questions, if I have any doubts, I'll do an oil change with the correct viscosity oil, make sure it's topped off to the proper level, clear the codes, start the engine, and see if the problem is still there. Now if you have one or both of these codes stored, it may come along with severe engine performance issues, I'll call them, and that could be because of one of two reasons. One reason is because the computer is limiting the engine's output for self-preservation. It may not allow you to rev above 3,000 RPM, the transmission may only shift into a particular gear, and that's all because the computer is trying to save the engine from further damage. The other reason could be because there actually is engine damage, say to a timing chain or the cam phaser itself, or some issue with the engine. So one of those two things could be causing the engine to run very badly and setting these codes, or it could be that the computer is trying to prevent the engine from self-destruction. Every manufacturer does things a little bit differently, and not everyone has access to a scan tool that can view live data. But what I've done with the scan tool I have here was I pulled up the information that I could find on the crankshaft position and camshaft position just to show you what they might look like. And now I'm going to rev the engine. Now that's not necessarily representative of what you are going to see, but at least from what I'm seeing here, it looks like everything is functioning normally. In this case, we got lucky. We were able to change the oil with the proper viscosity oil, top it off to the proper level, clear the code, and now the engine is running fine and we no longer have any issues or a check engine light. We'll call this the happy ending. Now let's talk about the bad ending. Say you've gone through and you've topped off the engine with the correct oil viscosity and everything's at the proper level, you've cleared the codes, yet your engine is still running poorly, perhaps even making noises and those codes keep returning. Uh, I'm going to say it's likely a mechanical issue inside the engine and I would be looking at the timing chain, cam phaser, something along those lines for the source of that problem. The P0014 and P0016 codes, as you've seen in this video, can be relatively simple, such as maybe perhaps low oil or the incorrect oil viscosity. 
could be fixed with just an oil change. Or it could get a bit more complicated, such as a timing chain issue, cam phaser issue, or some other mechanical problem. Either way, I hope the information in this video was helpful to you in resolving that problem. There will be additional information down in the description, so don't forget to check there. I'm Eric the Car Guy, here with TRQ, where you can view before you do. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.